Hey gang, Jason here from Brilliant Directories. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. A long-awaited add-on that we just released today. This is the pay per post add-on. And if you're a member of the VIP add-ons club, you'll already have access to this amazing add-on. What this add-on does in a nutshell is you can choose to charge your members every time they want to post a piece of content to your website. This could be a coupon, a job listing, a property listing, the list goes on. So for any type of content that your members publish, you have the option of actually charging them a flat fee to post and publish that content. Now, why is this so important for websites? It is actually creating an additional revenue channel for you to generate revenue from your website. So you currently have the ability to charge for membership levels, uh, paid signups and upgrades. You can also charge your members for leads that they purchase through your website. So those are two revenue channels. Pay per post, even though it's an add-on, now adds a third revenue channel to your website and opens up a whole new world um, and business model that you can follow to get members to join your website and contribute content to your website um, while you get to generate revenue as well. So what we're gonna do in this video is kind of cover some of the basic features and functionality of pay per post. I'm gonna actually demo how a member will pay for a post and some of the uh, settings that you as the website owner can configure uh, to set up the pay per post on your website. So let's dive into it right now. Um, if you have the VIP add-ons club, this, these features will already be enabled on your site. And if you don't, you can opt to just purchase it a la carte here uh, from our add-ons page on the Brilliant Directories website. I've created this uh, a dummy site here kind of, and I've put uh, some uh, uh, payment gateway connection to it. Um, this does require SSL security because members will be checking out and paying for posts through your website. You do need the SSL security add-on. I highly recommend that anyways uh, for any website now in 2018. So where are the settings for the pay per post features? You're going to want to toggle on over to the finance tab. Over there you can go to manage products. And you might already be familiar with managing products. You can choose what type of posts um, each membership level has the privilege of publishing. In this case, let's just edit the premium membership level. And I'll go over some of the features here related to the pay per post. So we know we have the tabs, the general settings, uh, the pricing, the profile. What we want to do is go on over to the post publishing. And here we'll see a lot of new features. And let's just stay focused on this coupon section here. We'll keep this as the example. So first thing, um, you might already be, be familiar with the max free posts. Um, if you have the add-on to limit the number of free posts uh, your members can publish previously, then you're familiar with this tab. Uh, you can set this to zero for unlimited free posts, or you can actually designate a number such as one, five, 10, et cetera, et cetera. In this example, let's do one free posts. There's a new checkbox here. It says no free posts must pay. So no matter what value you enter in here, if you check that box up there, it'll override it. And now these this membership level has to pay for any coupon posts they want to publish on the site. And that's where the third box comes in here, price per extra post. Now the minimum is one, uh, $1 or whatever currency you're using is one is the minimum, uh, but you could set this to whatever you like, for example, $5 or $10, whatever makes sense for your industry for this type of post. Maybe property listings would be more expensive, I would assume, um, and so on. So this is where you would designate the price per post. Now, you don't have to make all, um, you don't have to shut down free posts. You could maybe give them their first post for free. And we'll set that to one. And then any additional posts in this example, we'll set that uh, to one as well. So I'll get one free post and then I'll have to pay $1 for any additional posts. I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes here. And really to show this to you guys from start to finish, I'll just sign up as a uh, premium member on the site through the admin. So this, this membership level is the premium one. What I'll do is I'll go to uh, search members area 
and I'll manually add a new member in here. So I'll just do a test2 at test.com, and I'll give a quick password here, and I'll select the membership level as premium, and it'll create the member, and I'll log in to this member's account. Okay, great, so now I'm logged in as a new premium member, and let's say I want to add a coupon. Well, based on the example that I've used and what uh, rules I've set, I get one free coupon post. So when I go to publish a coupon, there's no restrictions. I can go ahead and publish my first coupon uh, without any um, ro roadblocks or hurdles to pay for a post. So we'll set the title, test one. That's really all I need in this example. And I'll save the changes. If we go to view coupons, we can see that I have a published coupon. Um, so in this case now, let's add a new post for $1. Now you'll see I have to pay, uh, and that's why I'm seeing this banner. Before I do that, let's change the free post limit to two actually. Let me edit the premium level. And let's change a max free post to two, and we'll save the changes. And what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna refresh this page, and right now it's prompting me to pay $1, but now that I've increased the limit to two, I'm just getting the regular add new coupon button. Uh, and I can add a new coupon without restriction. So they really get their number of free coupons that they're allowed to have. Let's go back to view coupons. Let's lower this back to one. So we're setting the max free post to one, which I've already used as that member. Let me save the changes. And now I'm gonna be prompted to pay. Great, add a new coupon, $1. Let's do it. So remember, this was a new member that I added, so it's gonna take me through the order processing. Now, because I'm a new member, I don't have a credit card on file, and it's totally seamless. Right in this moment, it's asking me for my credit card, and I could just put some a dummy credit card information here and save the changes. So now the member has saved a credit card on file, and we'll continue with the purchase of the post. And you'll notice now that it's gonna allow me to continue adding a coupon. And I can go ahead and set this to published and we'll do test two. And I'll just scroll down and save the changes. And now I have two coupons. And if I wanna continue posting coupons at this point because I've used my free coupon, I'll need to pay $1 for each post. Uh, don't forget, you can have no free posts and you can force them even their first post that they need to pay uh, to have that completed. Uh, so this is the new paper post add-on. We're really excited about this. It's gonna add a whole new level of functionality to your website. If you've had a website for a long time, you can make this big news in a newsletter. Um, you know, some important information for your members to know that uh, maybe they have access to uh, publish certain types of posts and special pricing for the different membership levels. Uh, but you as the website owner now have a new revenue channel for your site and it's all thanks to the pay per post add-on. So we look forward to seeing how you guys utilize this on your websites in uh, future webinars. Thank you everyone for joining us. We'll catch you guys soon.